Hello, my beautiful Gemini's. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Gemini's, welcome to one of our special readings. As you know, special readings are the one requested by you. And as well, they are timeless readings. Recorded in June. But yes, this is just for the channel purposes. Gemini, you know, we are all manifest things. We all want and feel we deserve things in this life. So today it's all about manifestations. You manifest something out there and you want to know, will this manifestation come clear or come true or probably the time frame or what we need to do next or there is anything at all to be done. So we are looking deeper into these things and if this message is, this reading resonates with you, connects with you in a way, let us know, comment below, subscribe to the channel, get in touch with us if is what you wish. So let's see, will those manifestations you as the universe in a crystal clear way will come to you? What else we should know? As a general reading loves, for some of you might even look like a personal, for others of you might not make too much sense and that's okay. So here we are. We have the Devil, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have Nine of Swords. The Gemini I am speaking here, you, you might be single at this time, but definitely you don't want to be single any longer. Or you definitely want that person that can share a life with you and feels here that you you definitely are not single for a year or two but longer than one year or two for others of you there is a big purchase you want to do but feels here like i don't know when that will be or when the time comes, when, when I have enough. Because definitely I see here Geminis who want a family or want commitment. And I definitely see Geminis who want to have their own home. So there's something here about home, family energy here. Let's see. King of Wands. Six of Cups. Queen of Cups and Five of Wands. Yeah, it seems here for some of you there is something that was done back then or back in, you know, a few years. And it feels here that we can't undone something. But also Spirit says, for you to get closer to your manifestation, you got to move beyond the past and beyond the people who are always in your head or around you who are not really giving you much. As well, for those of you who are wanted a specific person, if there is something here meant to you, will be yours sooner or later. But you gotta let go. I feel here this is about control. I want in a certain way, I want a certain thing, and so on. There are people 
that can and want to be with you, want to share a life with you. But for some Geminis, there is a specific person that you feel that only that person will make me happy or only that person is the person. But around you, there's others. So sometimes, yes, we want just one person. But we want, we might not need that person. Because not everything we want is good for us. So that is a thing here. Let's see, the, the Five of Wands clarifier, Wheel of Fortune. The other people coming here on your way. And Spirit says, the universe is here to bring you these people. You might not see them now, but you gotta look around you. King of Cups. You see? You see? The universe brings it, but you don't see it. You are back to back. Seven of Swords. Three of Wands. And the Lovers. So here you are, your Major Arcana. You are the one to choose. You are the one to choose. I feel here also there's something about trust issues. Big trust issues. Somebody here could cheat on someone. And based on that, somebody here was like, I'm not going to deal with this any longer. Or I don't want to never say never. Because deep down... It's just a choice. The King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Temperance, Empress, Four of Pentacles. It's like somebody here feels like they, they will never love someone as they used to love some somebody in their past. But again, I feel here with the communication. Yeah, somebody here is just kind of, it's really important, the, the chemistry. It's really important to be compatible with that person. But there is a person here But it feels like, you know, I still want that person. Yeah. But there is a big hesitance. So definitely here, this is about the comeback energy. Someone wants someone. The choice, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, yes. So somebody here, it's kind of living in the past, but has someone here And feels like they will never have whatever they had with someone. But your person, it's here next to you. Because there is someone here that they already kind of move on with their life. They are not giving in for a reason here. But there is someone here who kind of coming in and you are in this two of pentacles. I don't know. I don't know. 
What's the devil here for, Spirit? Four of Cups. Justice. Ten of Wands. And Eight of Wands. It's kind of about opening up. Somebody here is not opening up after a separation with someone. The Seven of Pentacles here, Ten of Swords. Emperor. Yeah, look at this. An Ace of Pentacles. There is someone else here for that stability, for that commitment. Okay? So don't wait any longer. Be open. Spirit says, don't wait for someone from the past. Don't wait for someone from the past. And learn to trust again. Learn to live your life again. Be you, be yourself. Love your life. Move forward, move beyond whatever here you've been doing or dealing. Heal. The only four is missing its four of swords. Heal. Because you definitely can have that connection you always wait and dream of. But there is someone else besides whoever so if it's a Gemini here dearly want someone from the past, my apology if I'm so direct, but that past person is not going to come back. Neither now, neither in four years, neither in seven years, neither in 13 years. For some of you, you could know someone for a very long time. You could have even kids with them. But there is someone here which is your person. I know many of you may say, well, yes, it is this person. I don't love them. But I am somehow involved with them sexually or, you know, physically. But I'm not truly 100% with them. Because look at this, Ace of Wands and Three of Wands. This is the person you ask the universe, not this you leave behind where you need to leave behind. Here is your Four of Wands. Okay? This Four of Wands, you ask the universe. That happy home, that happy relationship, that mature relationship. So if you did manifest a happy home, a happy relationship, a marriage, a compatibility with someone. The person is next to you. It's right next to you. It's not whoever. But I definitely feel here someone been dealing through cheating in the past. Or somebody here cheated on the other person. And for that reason, it's a big no-no that somebody is not going to come back. Somebody here doesn't, it's kind of like, doesn't tolerate cheating. And no matter, that doesn't mean that the people or the person is bad. It's just kind of like the feeling of cheating. Someone just doesn't get it. I can't take it. That's what I'm hearing. So that's kind of like moving forward. Whew. Let's see, loves. The best advice we have for you. King of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Eight of Cups. Hermit. Six of Swords. Magician. Ten of Cups. And we have Seven of Cups. So definitely here it is a person could have Pisces, could have Virgo in the chart, this person. 
They are here to offer love, but they are not here to stay forever. But yes, this is the person you, you manifested. And it's here. Three of Wands is when the manifestation comes to you. And here's when you ask the universe. So the advice is you ask for happiness or someone who you can build a happy home, who can be in a happy relationship, who can offer happiness. This is your person. And it's here. It's kind of like, don't look further. Don't look further. Because if you definitely ask the universe for a happy relationship, a soulmate relationship, or a happy home, or have a happy environment, look no further, loves. If you want somebody to take responsibility, or someone to to be there for you it's here as you see here the only king is missing its king of swords that's you how your plans look like think about it so don't go backwards but just forward okay so darling, quite a reading for you, but let's see also an advice from the oracles. Set healthy boundaries, the number three, and time to heal, absolutely. So whatever here you are moving forward, healthy boundaries are really important. But at the same time, time to heal, healing the past. Because with a bleeding heart, we'll bleed on the other things, on other people and so on. That being said, Geminis, I thank you so much for stopping by, coming forward. If you feel that this speaks to you in any kind of way, let us know. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.